Hello there, and welcome to the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. As you can see, we'll be doing a one stop. Now, this strategy view is actually tuned towards what we usually do, which is go super aggressive, which uh, I'll fix in just a second. But uh, going super aggressive here probably will not work. We'll be going aggressive on the first stint, uh, attack on the first stint, and we're going aggressive on the second one. Should be alright. We might have to save a little bit of hard tire at the end of the race, but uh, it should be okay. And with that, let's get started. As the sun continues to shine, all eyes are on the race here at the Amelia Romagna Grand Prix. And it slides out, and away we go. Decent start there. And we get ourselves the uh, the window that we want. It's a big question. Let's have a quick look. Duhan and PS3 are creating that uh, that window that we like. We're going to allow them to use a little bit more ERS here, but we are under the 50% mark. We have the window. We're going to tune it down a bit and let them burn a little bit more fuel. And then we can go uh, into fuel saving here on lap 4. Should make our life a lot easier. Now, as I said here, going attack on these tires probably will not make them last a full stint. So uh, we'll get a decent pocket here, as you can see, to We've 10 seconds-ish. And then we'll run aggressive, and then we can stretch this if we want to a little bit. Slow. Yeah. Doing very well so far. Piastri has been leading for most of the race though, so he's uh, lacking a little bit of fuel. Duan has more to go on, but uh, pretty good. First couple of pit stops for Romeo and uh, Aston Martin. And currently, as you can see, we are burning our tires faster than the others around us, but that is to be expected. We are running more aggressive strategies, all things considered. And I'm kind of considering here to forcefully allow them to change their positions because it's kind of hard to overtake here. So uh, we're going to try and see if a lower fuel mode I think there's been a lock -up. will allow uh, Duhan to overtake Piastri. And it seems like that is not the case. Let's go back up to balanced. Might have to burn a bit of fuel here for Duhan instead. Now, we still have some tire life left, but as you can see, if we didn't go aggressive, these would probably not last until the, uh, Is that a lock -up? the end here. So, we're currently at the optimal pit stop lap. We'll get uh, Duhan in first for the hards. Box this lap. And uh, we'll get Piastra in on this uh, following one. So, he'll go past the line. There we are. And then we get on the hards. Now... As you can see, the mediums took a bit of a beating, so we might have to tune it even slightly more so that they uh, these hands can last to the end. It should be okay, all things considered. But we'll allow Piastri to slow down a little bit so Duhan can catch up and they can run a train again. That's a stonking lap. It's just the best way to run uh, the team here because one of them will save fuel and they'll pull each other along. We could end up losing some time battling, but uh, for us at least that's not a real concern. Let's run push on Duhan. He has a couple of uh, kilos of fuel more than Piastri. When you're running the exact same machinery... A little bit more fuel can go a long way to causing problems, especially if you have a bit fewer stats. So Duhan got left behind again. I think we're just going to run them both balanced, let him run their own races. Haven't really been a lot of overtaking or overtaking attempts as far as I've seen. So uh, even though leveling is good, we're going to let them just run the race to the end. Piastri is going to need to conserve a little bit of fuel though. And 
Judging by this, we are on a good track to make sure these tires survive all the way to the end. Someone's run wide! Currently weaving through the back markers, which uh, has actually allowed Duan to overtake Piastri. Didn't actually notice that happened. I was focusing a bit too much on the stance down here. Then again, uh, we don't care too much who wins, which again I know sounds really mean and you know, but uh, they're both our cars. Uh, I don't care who wins. I will not prioritize one over the other. Although we do have the reigning champion. Now what we could do here is start to uh, harvest a bit. Seems to have been a lock Make sure they both have full ERS towards the end here, so that we can uh, go for fast slap. I think someone's run wide. What does run wide? Three more laps to go. Two more. Oh wow, I the last lap. I got distracted for a second and didn't realize we were already starting the last lap. So as you can see, even with going just aggressive, the hards kind of suffer there. Towards the end, so we'll have to see if we can actually improve on that fastest lap of Duhans. Probably not seeing as I uh, put him on aggressive after they had already passed the line. But uh, we had a good race, all things considered. 1-2. We uh, lapped all the way up to 8th place here. Carlos Sainz. Verstappen 3rd. Mercedes having a good showing here. So uh, Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari could, again, potentially have an interesting scrap this season that we'll be paying attention to. Extra points for both our drivers for uh, fastest lap and pole position respectively. So uh, looking good. Two points in favor of Piastri so far. And... Uh, yeah, Red Bull back in second, Ferrari third, but again, it's just uh, just uh, nine points between the three of them, so that's going to go probably look quite interesting towards the end. That will also make the fight down here a bit more interesting because, uh, in theory, there's just two point scoring positions that, uh, well, six teams, in theory, will fight over, so uh, we'll have to see how that uh, pans out as well. But thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.